Bones. In this module, you will learn about your bones. It is Sid's birthday today. His friends have come over for a party. Let's go and join them. Everybody seems to have fun here. Friends, it's time for my surprise performance. Wow! Sid surely knows how to dance. Do you know which part of his body is helping him to do these steps? Come, let's find out. Can you see these white structures dancing like Sid? These white structures are present inside Sid's body. We call them bones. Just like Sid, we all have bones. In all, there are 206 bones inside our body. Oh, that was a difficult move, isn't it? As you see, Sid's bones are not breaking even when he is doing all the difficult twists and turns. It is because bones are quite hard and tough. All the bones inside our body together form the framework of the body which is called the skeleton. It is the skeleton that decides the shape of a body. Moreover, the skeleton also helps us to stand, move or dance like Sid. Let's once again look at few of Sid's dance steps. Look, he is bending his arm here. Here, he is bending his leg. Look at Sid's bones near his elbow. As you can see, two bones are joined here. Such places where bones are joined together are called joints. It is this joint that helps Sid to bend his arm. Similarly, a joint present at the knee helps Sid bend his leg. Apart from the elbow, the knee, neck, wrist and shoulders are other body parts that have joints. And all these joints help Sid and all of us to do all the bending and twisting of the body. Let's recap. Bones are present inside our body. There are 206 bones in our body. Bones are hard and tough. The bones inside a body together form the framework of the body which is called the skeleton. Places where bones are joined together are called joints.